The Outer Limits, 1963, The Mutant. Where, where is Dr. Marshall? I don't know. He's probably in the lab. Where, when he's ready to go, I put the component back in the communication system. As soon as he contacts Earth, I remove it. If anyone speaks one wrong word during that moment, what did you do with the suit? I'll put it in my locker. Voice over, don't think it. Block it out. Don't think what, Lieutenant? Voice over, block it, block it, block it, block it, block it, voice over. I didn't write it. I didn't. Where is it, Chandler? What? I didn't, voice over. I wish it were dark. I get so lonely for the night. I can't dream. It's in it. It's in his seam. No, it seems wrong. It should be night. The night's suited for dreaming. It's suited in his suit. No, don't think it. Block it, block it. Take it out and destroy it, man. There's nothing wrong with your television set. Do not attempt to adjust the picture. We're controlling transmission. Control the horizontal. Control the vertical. We can change the focus to a soft blur, sharpen it to crystal clarity. For the next hour, sit quietly and we'll control all you see and hear. About to participate in a great adventure. You're about to experience the awe and mystery which reaches from the inner mind to the outer limits. At this very moment, your horizon is menaced by two explosive forces, both man-made. One is a deadly wonder. The other, wondrously alive. Both of us have compelled man to reach out for worlds beyond his own. Now worlds where he may find peace and room to grow. This is the first of those new worlds. The United Nations of Earth has claimed it and called it Annex One. It's almost identical Earth, except there is no light. The sunlight is constant. Only reports from the small inventory team on Annex One indicate that the planet was suitable for colonisation by Earth's overflowing population. A recent plots have contained unspoken disturbing undercurrents engine noise. The United Space Agency decided to investigate. A man chosen, Dr. Evan Marshall, psychiatrist. Evan, hello, Julia. Dr. Evan Marshall, you look like celebrities at picnic. Can't tell you part in those. Better put those on, Dr. Marshall. Constant sun, Doctor. You must not come into it without our glasses. We kept them on at all times and false the ha- habit. In a few days you feel like they're, they're part of your person, which is how we feel. This is it, Dr. Evan Marshall, Chief of Psychiatric Division in our much divided space agency. You all heard of him, I'm sure, and some of us already met him. That was way back on Earth. Well, we start fresh up here. Dr. Reiner, Dr. Marshall, Lieutenant Chandler, Doctor, Dr. Professor Da Costa, Dr. Marshall, and Mr. Fowler. Correct, correct, dark glasses disguise no one. And Griff, Griff is dead. There was a hideous accident. It wasn't reported before I left Earth. It only happened a few days ago. How many, Griff, was, this, was the main spring up there? Dr. Marshall, the tip that held us all together. By him we were somewhat disoriented, temporary, of course. Difficult to count, to count days when there are no nights. It happened day before yesterday, just a few minutes before noon. And it couldn't have been reported anyway, Doctor. We had a problem with our communication system. What kind of problem? Well, what, what kind of problem? Lieutenant Chanda, this is your department. I figured how to explain it in layman terms. Can it be corrected? Uh, of course it can be corrected. Anything in the next one can be corrected, I hope so. Oh, shit, won't be back till I send word. Shall we step out into out of our sun? In out of our sun? I can't appreciate how comfortable it is until you've gotten out of it. You have this room. I'll move in with Dr. Reiner. It's a bit primitive, but that's what Homestead says it's supposed to be. Looks fine. How does it feel? Living pioneer style, like me emotionally. We're trained to be emotional correction. Not emotional, I miss dreaming. Never could dream much of daytime. All we have here is a day, sunny daytime. I'll put this away. You're probably anxious to start checking things out. Thanks. Fox actually knew you knew he was coming, no. Then Griff knew. He told you, Reese, I'm not in the habit of lying to people. But I'm not really people anymore, am I, Julia? Which is why I especially wouldn't lie to you. Therefore, it's hopeless for me to try to behave like a person morally, that is. 
Reese, please go. Do you know why he came up here? Juliet, I think so. Give I expected someone would come. He had nothing to do with you. If it concerned only Griff and me, and not you, and you're not having children, dreadful animals shouldn't behave like people. Well, whatever made you your marriage for loveless was supposed to make it was it supposed to make it childless? Don't like being like this, Julian. Inhuman. This thing rises in me, blots out all the decency you used to feel. Rises more often, blots out more and more. Where's Dr. Marshall? I don't know. He's probably in the lab. When he's ready to go, I put the component back in the communication ship system. As soon as he contacts Earth, I'll remove it. If anyone speaks one wrong word during that moment, what did you do? The suit, I put it in my locker. Voice over, don't think it, block it out. Don't think what, Lieutenant? Voice over, block it, block it, block it, block it, block it. Voice over, I didn't write it, I didn't. Where is it, Chandler? What? I didn't. Voice over, wish it were dark. I said, get so lonely for the night, I can't dream. Is this, is it his dream? Seem, no. Seems wrong. That should be, there should be night. The night suited for dreaming. Suited in his suit, no. Don't think it, block it, block it. Take it out and destroy it. I can read your thoughts, John. You should know, sh- all should know that by now. No one can quiet, and quiet his thoughts. It's impossible. Even if I hadn't found that Dr. Marshall had, I'd known about it. I could hear his thoughts. I never let him leave. Now destroy. No, no, but not that way. Eat it. Eat it. I wouldn't do it again, Reese. Voice over, I'll be alone with him again. No, no, be quiet. Please don't, voice over night. No, gonna be like night. A long night to dream in. Reads like some psychiatric reports I've written. All fact and yard long. She's covered every phase of expedition. Davy landed, Marshall should. It doesn't. Some of my findings are missing, Dr. Marshall. I just say lack of findings. Don't come, didn't come here to check out on past civilizations. X1, excuse me. I'm looking for Tenant Turn. Julie, would you like you to call on her? She worked on Riley, my treatment. For heaven's sake, don't give this up. Don't you endanger don't you haven't you endangered him enough? Don't go, perhaps we all do, don't we? I'm a bit more than the rest. But Dr. Marshall still has a chance if Mr. Fanner keeps his word. Small one, to be sure. But sometimes they're the greatest. Can we trust a madman? I'm not a madman, Professor. I'm a mutant. Come with me, Dr. Mr. Fowler. Same as it's always been, isn't it, Evan? Yes, very much. May you say a few small useless words then? Let me just, let me go quiet. A man and woman should be afraid of the quiet that comes between them. But they're afraid of the quiet. What was it, Julie? What frightened you away? I ran away from you. I did run. I always knew that someday I had to face you and tell you why. Not now, Evan. You know why I came up here. Yes, I think so. Find out why Griff and I will. For two years, the space team is tight to investigation. Covers of physically sound, expected to begin. Value in two years. Especially the experimental covers. You and Griff are s- sound. We left Earth. Did something, anything happen? Nothing happened. Is that the answer? When a girl runs as fast as I did, she bound a bump into someone. A bunch of Griff didn't take a good look. I was too busy being helped up. Then we were here in a new world. I had a time to look. I respected what I saw, but I didn't. I couldn't. Did you, did you find out, Julian? I didn't love you? That you stopped loving me, Julian? Recently, the facts of death were according to law perfectly. The recipe of the accident and dying. Was it accident or was it suicide? Oh, no. Griff would hate they would to think about him. Yeah. Why is it, Julie? I mean, most of the signs of accidents anyway. When are you leaving, Evan? What is it, Julie? When Griff, I found out that he didn't, he, I didn't, that I didn't love him. We became friends, the second couple. Sound couple friends, basically. I said, say, Griff DC. It should be explained that explanation enough, but makes me feel very guilty. Being as close to you makes me feel very guilty. More than that, Evan, Evan, please don't probe. Stop. Please stop. Going to not, not honestly. 
You want to see me? See Dr. Rona? I'm looking for Lieutenant Chandler. Probably somewhere daydreaming. Julie, put your glasses on, Doctor. Don't wander too far from the hut. The protection gets the rain. It's due within the half hour. Does it rain that hard, Julie? Evan, Evan, hurry. Evan, quick. Don't even let it go again. Julie, not Evan. What's wrong, Julie? Evan, not now. Somebody, someday, when we met on Earth, I was afraid of us. What are you talking about? What's wrong here? You are a man of very sharp instincts. You're terrifying. You're terrifying perceptive. They're rare qualities. They make out you make you a superior psychologist. But you have learned to live with them. You let them probe with you every moment. You must get every blink, word, and gesture. You're just too analytical. It's funny. You're a kind of 1984 man. Stop watching life happen. Just go some, on somewhere. He is much bigger than any my brother. I like to talk, Dr. Reiner. Oh, very well, Doctor. Shall we go in here? Oh, Julie, come on. I can't, can't wait to thank you very well. Do you can talk? Well, Professor de Kerfer's cave. I haven't had much sleep lately. Julie, wait. He knows about this. Reese, that's Dr. Marshall. No, we have to tell him why we came here. He's our only hope, Julie. He may get back to Earth, screaming not to help. So he just screams, he screams. He said he thought, no animal life here. Come, Julie, this place isn't safe to humans anymore. There may be other creatures, other rotations. Well, one of, the, well, one of you talk to me, please. please. Uh, oh, yes, Dr. Marshall. Here we can talk to you. We are hoping you follow. Evan, we've been trying to keep you safe. Where to press the coaster? I saw him come in here. He's dead. Don't tell him. Anymore, please. Not. Why not, Julie? Because if you know, you know, you can hear your thoughts. Reese Fowler, you become a mutant. He was caught in a shower. I, I, radio isotope. Don't say it anymore. Don't tell him anymore, please. Confused thoughts are a bit difficult to conceal. He you knows everything. You may, you may keep them from thinking. Keep them, keep from thinking about it. We were in a hut the first time it showered. Reese is outside some six inch wall roof. He ordered us to remain indoors. Then a hot foam was hit. He fell a screen tore in his eye. A griff would hear would let us go to him. When he came mutant in, to what mutated into what he is, he charged with reactor of his icons. Ions. You see how he keeps his distance. He killed Griff. Griff knew that Alex Wilms was useless. He had to leave. We had to leave Reese behind. He would have contaminated the rest of us in space caps. Reese would give up the idea of being cured. He killed Professor Costa. No, this, that was a mutinated creature. He caused the absence of Costa to be to explode the way Reese killed Chandler. He admitted it as he was preparing his latest surplus treatment. He became his prisoners. He destroyed a ship and disabled communications. We got it. We get it. We got to get it working again. He wants me, he wants me to leave. Ryder, he moved one of the components. He probably intends to remove it long enough. He won't be able to signal. That's what, not what I think, was thinking. Good idea, not a very promising one, but could you hypnotize me? You can't, can't be hypnotized. I could be made to forget all this. He let me alone if I haven't heard anything. What good will it do? I forget to someone on Earth. He used a certain word on Earth. Word of certain to hear on earth. But a word you certain not certain to hear but before when you leave here. Hope I would like to hear that word anywhere, even here. There must be something someone will say to you. You associate some spaces here, your friends. Take expression or official signal. Reason you might go all day without saying his entire name, unless he's telephoning. Both have to remember not to mention his name. When I make my report before the ball. They are asked about each of you. They are asked by name. Well, when you, when you only have straw, straws to grasp at, you grasp at straws. Sit down, Doctor. Before the candle, just you keep looking at this gentle flame. Keep looking at it. It's all there is to see in the world. You can't take your eyes from it. You can't even close your eyes. You know, you can feel the weight of your eyelids. And longing for sleep. You sleep a long time. You sleep until Julie Jess. Ever wake up. Till then you'll sleep. I'm still a man. I have a mind, a name. A man they call Father Reese Father. 
I must remember that. I must keep saying it to myself to everyone. I am a man called Lee Reese. I am a man, Lee Reese. Look at all, yes, why not? But I'm still here. Just a minute, all right. See, longer than this time. I have a full duration. Might succeed. The volume failed. Do you think you'll be able to tell? Out of the dark, it hurts. All right. Yes, yes, I'm all right. Don't go, Doctor. Please don't go. Is it safe for me to be fine converters you? Please, I can, I, if I can tell me it, can't help you. Why are you f- frightened to say my name, voice over? Two brothers of me, great burdens we bear. The truth to say, we're all full all day, empty, but we go to rest. I don't know, I know every riddle. The answer to that one, you're using the pair of shoes. Well, I understand, you're being afraid of my touch, but I mean, why my name? Voice over, I must not say it. Please. You must not say my name. Why even wake up? I can't see your face, what expression you're wearing. Say that as if you know them all. Don't I? Will it be so terrible if you don't? No, not terrible at all. It might be lonely to not be look at you without being able to see you. That's only very analytical. Also very male. Come on, time to get in out of the rain. There's all there is to see. I cannot take your eyes. You cannot take your eyes from it. Gentle flame, the weight of your eyelids, you sleep, you sleep, you sleep, forget all you know about the horror here. You must remember not to mention his name, Preston Nobby, Hypnobic. So only one of the ears for when ask for him. That's me to see. You tell the horror. The horror sleeps, sleep, sleep, wait, wait. Where have you been? Been. Comes quickly. You better get inside. Some dark place, dark. In no place, dark place, the next one. Are you speaking metaphorically, Evan? Uh, could be, but I'm not. Judy, maybe you have just been dreaming in the forest. It's a very telling. It's a very real thing to it. I haven't been in the world to It's not as bad as you just play sets even. Evan, the door is locked, it's stuck. Who is it, please? Judy, let us in. Ask me to. Open the door, fella. Fella, help in person. Uh, Mr. before it. It's slightly to talk with the open tree. Please open the door, Mr. Fella. Please, the rain. That's the type of rain, is it? You better hide, yes. You run, you can't, go, doctor. Why don't say, please open the door, Miss Fowler. No, no. Ask if you would. Ask as you would ask of a friend. A friend you call by his Christian name. Well, you do remember my Christian name. What's he getting at? Say my name, come on. Say my name, my man named Face Fowler. Don't watch him? You may be here for a long time, do you? You may even die here. Oh, no. He wouldn't kill us. He doesn't want to be alone. Part of the human doesn't want to be alone. Part maybe not last long. Come out. Judy, Dr. Marshall, come on out. I won't harm you. I need you. Dr. Marshall is dead. I didn't kill him. He fell. Believe me. I wouldn't kill any man who helped me. I wouldn't kill you. Dr. Marshall, please believe me. He locked us out. You wanted us to be contaminated. Couldn't help that. So I don't it easy to forget the part of me. Still human. Will you help me? As you turn to earth, then there will send help for you. They cannot, they can do more than laughter, but it's useless, Dr. Marshall. Batman's failed. They're running off. The tap players are striking off. Be awarded some kind of medal, possibly. Let you go, both of you. I'm in Mutant. Dr. I'm not a madman. Come out, come out. Forgive me, Evan. You know, running away is a bad thing. You run away from one necessary world, you bump right into another. You usually bounce back, cries of pain. Pain that I can't see, she cries. Pain, doctor. Confused mumbling, cries of pain, silence, man. The forces of violence, the forces of nature, compel men to reach out towards new horizons. A peace and sanity may flourish where there is room to grow. Before we run, shall we not make certain that we have done all that we can be done here? Red man is quiet and disturbed. Of peace, make room for those who need so little grumbling. We now control your cellar should set to you till next week. At the same time, the control voice will take you to the outer limit.